So before we get to Idelia, let's take a look at something really funny here, okay? I don't know where they find these guys to do doctor work at the Capitol, but I do know one thing. They are paid not to actually do doctor work, but to instead doctor medical documents lie on medical documents, okay? I need you to understand something. Any attending physician that says Mitch McConnell is perfectly fine, he's A-OK, is just as nutty. He is just as nutty as the motherfucker who said Trump, like the, the, the doctor that gave Trump a clean bill of health and said he's sexy as fuck and he's super hot actually when he takes his shirt off. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they've just like hired exclusively chiropractors for the White House and also Congress alike. But here is what uh, the Capitol attending physician said for Senator Mitch McConnell as he cleared him for work. I have consulted with Leader McConnell and conferred with his neurology team after evaluating yesterday's incident. I have informed Leader McConnell that he is medically clear to continue with the schedule as planned. Occasional lightheadedness is not uncommon in concussion recovery and can also be expected as a result of dehydration. If Joe Brandon had a fucking moment like this, if Joe Brandon had this level of like a brain fart, because he has gaffes, right? He fucks up. He, his brain short circuits from time to time. He is not medically fine. You know what I mean? I wouldn't consider him to be medically fine, right? But if he had two glitches like Glitch McConnell now, like to that degree, I don't think that a, it, I don't think that the Republican Party would talk about anything else. They'd be like 25th Amendment time, 25th Amendment time. This is like, we got to take him out. We got to take him out. He's demented. He's demented. He's out of his mind. They still do it. They still fucking do it. And they stop doing it already. Diane Feinstein's in the same boat as well because we are run by crazy people. We're run by geriatrics. Well, now to new questions about Mitch McConnell's health after the Senate minority leader appeared to freeze at a press conference yesterday, just weeks after a similar episode. Our senior congressional correspondent, Rachel Scott, is on Capitol Hill with the latest. Good morning, Rachel. Eva, good morning to you. And this is the second time in just over a month that Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell appeared to freeze in front of the cameras, and it is prompting fresh concerns and questions about his health and future in the Senate. This morning, the Senate's top Republican, Mitch McConnell, appearing to freeze in front of cameras, trailing off and staring ahead for more than 30 seconds. What are your thoughts on running for re-election in 2026? What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh. <laughs> That's a, <clears throat> Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? Yeah. This is so funny. Like, yeah, that's uh that that's when you're as a congressional aide, as a staffer, that's when you're like, oh fuck, how do I salvage this? Oh, We'll just simply act like he couldn't hear it. Like, that's not the problem here, lady. Okay? That is not the problem here. Oh, yeah, he just... Guys, guys, he just couldn't hear it. He's just a little dehydrated. Okay? It's going to be fine. Uh, Senator, can you... Is it okay? Senator, let me repeat the question for you. Bro is seeing the Shinigami. Oh, yeah. Unofficial also have a medical correspondent chiming in. The doc can get away with this because even though Mitch, is pro Mitch probably had an absent seizure, you can't prove it without an EEG. So technically, his doc can be like, okay, all good. Now get back to work because he probably looked normal when the doc actually examined him. Okay, but, like, why aren't we doing an EEG? Like, what the fuck? I thought you supported quiet quitting, but when, it, when Mitch McConnell does it, it's suddenly bad.
Do not smoke no weed from the gas station, bruh. This isn't funny. Senators only do this when they're extremely distressed. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's giving he's giving an INTJ stare, okay? That's what he's doing. He's just like staring down the journalist. It's you you don't understand how that works. That's what it is. I'm an empath. I know. All right, I'm sorry you all. We're going to need a minute. Senator Wait, I don't get it. Why do you need a minute? It's just, I thought Senator just couldn't simply hear what the question was. Just say the question again, and then the Senator will hear it. Come on. Come on now. Okay. McConnell was eventually able to answer a few questions before leaving, but the incident was similar to this one in late July, when McConnell appeared to freeze mid-sentence during a press conference on Capitol Hill. It's been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of uh, uh, McConnell's, McConnell's office time. telling ABC News after both incidents that the senator felt lightheaded. But his health has been in the spotlight after he fell in March, suffering a concussion and fractured rib. Then in July, a second but minor fall on an airport jet bridge. And sources adding he started using a wheelchair at times to get around. Uh, Democrats sort of. and Republicans wishing McConnell well. We have disagreements politically, but he's a good friend. Across the aisle, Democrat Dianne Feinstein facing Whoa. questions about her health too. At 90 years old, she is the oldest sitting member in the Senate briefly hospitalized earlier this month after tripping over a chair and recently appearing confused at a Senate committee hearing. McConnell's office insists that he is feeling fine, saying he would see a doctor before his next event. He did speak to several top Republicans by phone yesterday, even attended a fundraiser. He is expected to return right back here to Washington next week when the Senate comes back from recess. Eva. Rachel, that video, though, hard to watch. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll There's more. Now to more on Mitch McConnell, who appeared to freeze up while speaking to reporters in Kentucky. This is now the second episode for the 81-year-old Senate Minority Leader in recent weeks. And ABC News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen joins us now with more on this story. And we don't know exactly what happened and right. whether or not it was age-related, but it brings the question, what are natural or normal signs of aging? Yeah, I think that's a really common question. So let's go through what's normal and what's not normal with aging. You know, obviously this varies person to person and there's a spectrum, but things like getting tired more quickly during the day, a loss of muscle mass, mass and strength, which is called age-related sarcopenia, also very common, which you can combat, I might add. And then slight issues with memory, forgetting a name once in a while, all those things are common. But DeMarco, you know, we're seeing more and more examples of incredible longevity and vitality um, in popular culture these days. We just heard about Bob Barker, mm -hmm. of course, Betty White, Queen Elizabeth. That's so funny. That's like, yeah, dude. <laughs> look at all these, look at all these fucking 800 year olds, dude. Sick. Sick. Look at all these symbols of uh, beacons of vitality just perishing. Taken too soon, man. Too soon. Elizabeth and uh, Iris Apfel, who just celebrated her 102nd birthday. So it is possible to work and be in good shape as we get older. It's just not as common as we might think. And what about those who aren't aging? Could this be a serious sign uh, as to what happened? Well, I think when you go to the what's not normal, the warning signs, if you will, I think, um, you know, the big things in terms of neurologic function that you want to look out for um, is being temporarily unresponsive or altered mental status is the term we use to place or current events or doing simple math. What's one plus one if you can't answer yeah. questions like that or being that able sense. to speak or respond to commands. I want to be crystal clear. Those, even if they resolve, 
are warrant urgent neurologic evaluation. And a big question, how can we stay healthy as we age? Well, that's the key, right? And I think it's about, you know, at any age, but particularly with older adults, being socially engaged, oh, learning new skills. Even music has been shown to be associated with longevity and vitality. Uh, uh, interacting with cool. grandchildren or younger people, mm -hmm. all of those things are helpful for the brain and make us feel good as yeah. well. May have already been mentioned, but we have a minimum age for Congress, so why not maximum? Dude, that would be unjustifiable. That would be that would be totally uh fucked up and unjustifiable. First of all, you can't do that because like old people vote. And secondly, uh one, old people vote, two, like like it makes total sense, but <clears throat> there is a disparity in mental acuity at that age for sure like someone like bernie sanders for example he i mean in spite of the reality that he's also 800 years old he is still significantly better physically and mentally than most other people his age you know what i mean But I definitely do think that there should be a maximum voting and maximum service age uh, for, for Congress. I, I do believe that. I think that that would be good. Um, they just said Mitch needs to spend more time with young kids to stay young. Yeah, they, that's a code. Uh, that's a signal for Mitch McConnell needs to eat more adrenochrome, which is, of course, as everybody knows, um, taken out of the spines of babies. That's how that works. Agent term limits aren't the issue. It's media narrative making these people look viable. No, agent term limits are definitely the issue. What do you mean? I legit had a conversation with my parents when they were talking about estate taxes, and I said, you'll probably outlive me due to millennial stress versus boomer. Blew their mind. The tolerant left is the next door down, though. What? I do think that... I do think that there should be term limits, obviously. I also think that there should be an age limit as well. Or after a, po uh, after a certain age, like, if you go past, like, I don't know, 75, let's say. Fuck it. 75. I think that's a very reasonable max cap, right? At that point... Isn't that ageism? Yes, bro. I'm fucking ageist, okay? Guess what? I'm ableist too. Like, for example, if your brain doesn't work because you're demented, you can't sit in office. I've said this already. I'm ableist. I'm ableist because I think blind people shouldn't drive, for example. Okay? That's what I feel. That's what I believe. That's what I think is the right thing to do. I'm saying 75 because it's, like, manageable, right? Like, let's start off with 75, let's say. Okay? I think the reality is 65 would be best. But let's say 75, right? You get to that point, term limits won't help, don't help without election reforms, put in term limits without it, and corpse will just groom politicians to serve a couple terms to represent the industry interest. Yes, but... Term limits, at the very least, like, offer a fucking max cap on the amount of cruelty that you can get from one specific, very obviously uh, corrupt politician, like Bob Menendez. For every Bernie Sanders and Ed Markey, there is a thousand Bob Menendezes out there, okay? And yes, I am very aware that, like, someone like Kirsten Cinema, for example, would absolutely be able to still operate and do the Kirsten Cinema shit even with term limits because she was she was pulling the shit that she was pulling off immediately. What I was simply stating was maybe after like you hit maybe after you hit like I don't know 65 you have to do a mental acuity test or something. 
right? That's what I think. Have we seen Ted Cruz make himself look uh, silly? Yes. And you have to you you have to do the mental acuity test like on a on a monthly basis. Like you have to offer up uh for all the public to see, for all your constituents to see that you are fully capable fully capable of of passing these uh you know cognitive tests that you are your brain is working. You know? Cause it's crazy to me. That there are people out there who can't even fucking stand up and walk without assistance. And not because they're like handicapped because their legs don't work. I'm talking like their brain, their cognitive function is in a state of disrepair. Hey, hey. Scared the shit out of me. Hey. Asshole. Kaya is such a dick. Good girl, Fiona. You didn't do nothing wrong. We're wishing him the best. It's frightening yeah. to watch that video. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's hard to watch. Thank you. Yes. Thanks, Dr. Jaden. Well, hey there, G.